Hi, we are giving you lot of exciting videos and I am very happy to do or to complete this type of conceptual problems and uh, I need your support uh, to raise my channel towards a higher level. That is why I am choosing this type of simple and conceptual problems and uh, I think uh, uh, these type of problems are very very important for our circuit theory analogy or uh, for our in total uh, for our electrical engineering field also. Okay. By looking at this pro problem, okay, this problem is very very simple. But if your basics are not clear, then you are going to form a very bigger mistake over here. Okay. Uh, as I have told you in my previous classes that if the R is been given from this side, so we need to form or we need to calculate the resistance from this side. Okay. Now I want to draw this portion first in a separate way. A, this one is our R2. Okay. And the short circuit is been applied over here. So this is short circuit. Okay. Short circuit means the resistance value will be zero. Okay. Now R these R and R2 is placed in parallel. Just put the value of equivalent resistance over here. So what is the equivalent resistance for that? The equivalent resistance is R2 multiplied with 0 divided by R2 plus 0 which actually gives us 0. Okay. As the R2 is placed with our short circuited path and the resistance of the short circuit path is 0 then the equivalent resistance for this path is 0. Okay, so only R, only R1 is placed over there and the equivalent resistance for this circuit is I want to draw the final answer over here. Or I am going to show the final answer over here. So R2 and 0 will cancel each other and only R1 is placed. Okay, so only R1 is being present. This one is R1 and I have got this as R. Okay, so this is my final answer and the final answer will be our final answer will be R is equal to our what is the final answer? Only one resistance is present over here and the equivalent resistance is R1. So this is our final answer for this type of mathematical problem or the problem 4. Okay. And uh, you have realized that this is a very, very easy problem for us. But I have chosen all this, uh, I have chosen this problem as the problem is very, very easy. But the concept is very, very crystal clear. Our concept is very, very similar. Or the concept is very, very important over here. And I am giving you step by step analogy for each and individual step over here. And by following the step by step form, I have got the final answer. Because I always believe that if you divide or if you, uh, if you divide smaller steps and if you add those steps, then the bigger mathematical problem or bigger circuit theory problem will form. Okay, so ultimately a bigger problem is nothing but the summation of smaller steps or smaller problems. Okay, and if your concept is clear or if the smaller problem or the concept of the smaller problems are clearer and that will add up and after that you have got the bigger problem over there. Okay, so this concept is very very important for you. 
that is why i have chosen this uh, form hope you have understood all the procedure over here if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and spread my videos towards larger communities as uh, this type of videos are very very important for our circuit theory analogy so that is it and uh, thank you and goodbye